Welcome to the Magoosh IELTS Vocabulary Podcast. This is Lesson 12. In this episode, we will cover four words all related to family. Spouse, in-laws, sibling, and sibling rivalry. Don't forget to check out our show notes for a link to your free IELTS vocabulary list containing these words and others. And visit IELTS magoosh.com for more great resources to improve your IELTS fan score. Okay, let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to your teacher, Elliot. He is the Magoosh IELTS expert, and here's a fun fact about Elliot. When he was young, his family took annual road trips crisscrossing the United States. Hello, Magoosh IELTS podcast listeners. Welcome to today's show. I'm Elliot, the IELTS expert from Magoosh, and thanks to those road trips, I've driven through every U.S. state except Alaska, which is to say I've spent a lot of time with my family. Today, we're going to look at four words that are going to help you to understand the kind of language you're going to see in the listening passages on your IELTS exam. Make sure to go to the link in the show notes to get the full list of vocabulary words. The theme for the words in today's episode is family and how to describe family members and family dynamics. Okay, spouse is the first word on the list. So let's start with that one, okay? Spouse, what does it mean? Well, a spouse is a husband or wife. So your spouse is the person you are married to. If two people are married to each other, they are each other's spouses. Spouse is a gender-neutral word, unlike the word husband, which refers to someone's spouse who is a man, or the word wife, which refers to someone's spouse who is a woman. The word spouse can be used in place of either husband or wife, but the words husband and wife can only be used in place of the word spouse depending on whether the spouse is a man or a woman. So if someone asks you if you have a spouse, they're asking if you're married. And if you are married, the person you're married to is your spouse. So that's spouse. The next word is in-laws. In-laws is the word used to describe the relatives of your husband or wife. That is, your spouse. In-laws are the relatives of your spouse. They're called in-laws because they're your relatives by law rather than by blood, as a result of you marrying into their family. You would refer to each of your in-laws by their relationship to your spouse, followed by the word in-law. So, for example, your spouse's brother is your brother-in-law. Your spouse's sister is your sister-in-law. Your spouse's mother is your mother-in-law. And your spouse's father is your father-in-law. And so on. Although you're not genetically related to your in-laws, you are legally considered to be part of the same family once you're married to your spouse. Okay, so that's in-laws. We have even more words for you coming up, but let's pause for a word from Magoosh. Thanks, Naomi. Do you want a great IELTS score? Well, guess what? Magoosh can help. Here's how. We have in-depth video lessons that cover IELTS concepts, pitfalls, and shortcuts, over 200 practice questions to help you prepare, 24-7 email access to a team of smart and fun remote tutors ready to answer your questions. So, are you ready to improve your score and get into your dream program? Great! We're ready to help. Visit us at IELTS.magoosh.com. That is I-E-L-T-S dot M-A-G-O-O-S-H dot com. Use coupon code IELTS Podcast, that's one word, no spaces, to save 20% off your IELTS test prep. That's it. All right, now back to the story. The next word is sibling. A sibling is each of two or more children that has one or both parents in common. So a sibling is a brother or sister. Like spouse, sibling is a gender-neutral word, whereas the word spouse can be used in place of the male-gendered word husband and the female-gendered word wife, 
sibling can be used in the place of the male-gendered word brother and the female-gendered word sister. So if you wanted to talk about any of your parents' children, other than yourself, you could use the word sibling. But you could also get more specific and say brother or sister, depending on the gender of the sibling you're talking about. Okay, so that's siblings. Just like last time, the final word of the day is actually a phrase, and it's sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry is a feeling of competition between siblings. Generally, siblings will compete to be better than each other at a certain skill or to get a greater share of attention from their parents, especially when they're young children. However, some sibling rivalries last all the way through adulthood. Sibling rivalry is a possible topic not just on the IELTS listening section, but also in the IELTS speaking interview and possibly in IELTS writing task too. You may be asked to speak or write about the relationship between siblings. So sibling rivalry is a good phrase to know the meaning of. It's a great phrase to use when describing the competitiveness between children in a family. So that's sibling rivalry. Great. In this episode, you learned four words related to family. For more vocabulary, download the full list of vocabulary in the show notes and tune in to the next episode. Thanks for listening. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. And if you're ready to start improving your IELTS score, check us out at IELTS.Magoosh.com. Use the coupon code IELTSROCKSTAR at checkout for 20% off your order. That's I-E-L-T-S-R-O-C-K-S-T-A-R at checkout for 20% off. Happy studying!